Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to find some chanterelle mushrooms. I'll kind of make the video kind of short and sweet, but I really wanted to show you some of the mushrooms that grow around in my area. Chanterelles are pretty easy to find. You can find them about six months out of the year in my area. So from May to, I'd say mid-October, be pretty accurate. You want to remember is whenever you're looking for these, that they can be from white to gold to even black a lot of the time. So if you find these mushrooms and they look white, gold, or black, I mean, just double check to make sure they don't have any gills and you'll be good to go. You want to remember that they'll always be smooth, have little ridges on them, but they're never going to have any gills on them. I'll show you what I'm talking about here and I'll do another video on how to tell the difference between true chanterelles and false chanterelles. But just keep watching guys. Okay, this is where we're going to start our search for chanterelle mushrooms. This is a good area to find them because it's a hardwood area. There's lots of hickories. White oaks, red oaks, black walnuts, maples. There's all kinds of hardwoods in this area. You're gonna be want to look on the ground for them. Right after it rains, that's the best time to find them. Here's a pretty decent sized group. There's about five of them right here. Some smaller ones too mixed in there, but usually when you find chanterelles, they're usually growing in groups, usually in pretty good sized groups. I'll try to find one for you that's a little bit bigger than this but they like growing under hardwoods these are growing right here under a big oak tree you can see what they look like here Close to look at them got those guys all over here but I'll take you out and I'll show you guys a couple more These guys here are growing right along the edge of the wood line. We got the woods right here, and then we got these guys growing right here, right next to it. Okay, whenever you take these out of the ground, you want to just take your blade, just kind of, just cut it off at the base where it's coming out of the ground. And you want to look at the bottom of it to see Oh, it doesn't have any gills. It's almost smooth. Maybe got a little couple of little ridges, but there's no gills. That's what you want to look for. It's the best way to tell. Here's a couple of more smaller ones. They're a little small right now. See them there too right there but I'll probably leave them alone for now and just let them get a little bit bigger but I'll come back in a week or so and collect them as well because you don't want to pick them when they're too small obviously the bigger they are the more you're going to get out of them so you might as well save them for later there's a bunch of them here Got a whole treasure trove of them But they really seem to like these areas like this. These hardwoods that get a lot of moisture, lots of rain. They really seem to take to these areas. If you got a lot of hardwoods like oaks, black walnuts, things like that, they like to grow on the floor underneath that stuff. They don't, you won't see them growing on the trees like you do morels, like on dead stumps and stuff like morels do. If you find one that's going to be doing that, growing on a stump or something that looks like a chanterelle, most likely it's going to be a false chanterelle. But I'll do a separate video on that, how to tell the difference between those two. I almost stepped on this guy. That's kind of the challenge to finding these this time of year in July or so is all this stuff gets overgrown. That's pretty much it. Those are actually really easy to find, guys. I mean, if you're in the right area, remember to make sure they grow in your area. That way you're not just looking for nothing. But remember, if you find these in an area, that you can keep going back to that area year after year and they'll be in the same spot. Just don't tell it to anybody. I won't. <laughs> but I really want to thank everybody that watches my videos. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments, and as always, keep your blade sharp, your mind sharper. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.